Welcome back, ladies and gents. In this one today, we have a game called Paranormal Entities. And I must say, this game is actually really good at giving you those jump scares and the ambient sound and everything like that. It's a little short, it's a little bit of a short game, but I definitely prefer this over the last horror game we played, which was Mortuary's Assistant. Now, the game was good, Mortuary's Assistant was good, but it just, for me, this game tops it. I think this game tops it and i hope you guys enjoy it as always i want to say a huge thank you to all you legends that commented in the last video and thank you for all the crazy support if you like the video please don't forget to hit that thumbs up hit that sub button bang that noti bell so you don't miss another upload and i'll catch you on the next one let's go here we go paranormal entities Whew. you are cliff a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman from the show paranormal entities the second rated ghost investigation show on the hunting and outdoors cable network you have been hired and sorry man that that's that music is so scary oh my god <laughs> can't even focus you've been hired to inspect the st augustine asylum for the mentally ill you go into this facility follow the procedures instruction oh sorry the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece keep your camera on and try to make contact with the spirits inside Oh great, so I'm just going in here on my own with just... Funny how the guys... Yeah, through the earpiece, you know? If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. $500, mate! I'd be wanting more than that. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera... If you manage to get some amazing footage of paranormal activity on your camera... Right, what? Let's just start. Let's just start. Straight in. Yeah, welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. This guy's got the right idea, doesn't he? Mom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, yeah. and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, nope. of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Yay! Can't wait. It's funny how this guy's sitting out in the van, isn't it? It's funny how he's sitting out in the van, guys. Like, oh, yeah, just you go in there. $500, yeah. $500. I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd be going in there for $500. Right, let's go. Directory. Main. Oh, this is just directory. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God. Do you have no idea, but this is so loud. It's so loud in my head. My headset. Founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff <sighs> here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Oh my god. Bro, the, the, the sensitivity on the mouse <laughs> is actually insane, and I, I can't actually, um... I can't make it go any slower. Oh my god. There's no set. Oh. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers oh my god. and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. So the death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. Damn, so they've just literally brought people here. Die, basically. They even fix their issues, so... <laughs> Ooh... Alright guys, it looks like we need to be good in here. I don't know if I want to get in there with it. I'll go to check over here to the left first. Oh, I was hoping I didn't have to go in there. <laughs> right, okay, let's go. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene. And we heard that the patients pre-1920 
actually received decent care. Then the war hit, and the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, what? flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. Careful where I step. Oh. I'm standing right in the spot that's telling me to stand. Get away from it. Oh my god. Oh, bro, this eerie music, like, the sound in this game is, is so good. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, Spirit oh, damn. of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak bro. to us. Use your words, use your voice. Let us know that you're here. Why is this guy you know in here doing this? You know, why is he sending me in Play. here? Play that back. Let us know that you're here. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try this again. It never worked. <laughs> right, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you're oh. here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more time. Oh, man. This guy's having a laugh. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. Bro. No, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Play that back. Play that back. Don't play it. Show up or piss off. I wish I could go on the phone and say to that guy, get your, get your ass in here, in here noise and ghosts up and that, bro, and I'm in here having to walk about on my own with nothing but a stupid torch. What's the torch going to do, mate? You know what I mean? Of course. Of course this door opens. I'm guessing this is... What was it? Wait, wait, what about this door? I'm guessing directory. Yeah. Ah. So far, so good. So far, so good. It hasn't got me yet. It hasn't got me yet. But I'll tell you something. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the East Social Area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who were deemed a danger to society would convene. Great. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk Yay. to the center and we will begin. Summoning thing? Where? Where have I go? Down here? This guy's having a whale of a time, isn't he? He's like, yeah, just go do this, mate. Just go do that. Just stand in the middle of this room and uh, summon some demons. And I'll just listen. Oh. I'll just listen from afar. Where have I go here? Wait, does he have to go in the middle of this room? Um... Uh... This guy, he's a funny guy, isn't he? He is a funny guy. Oh yeah, nothing, it's not, 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 not dangerous. You come in here, mate, then. Why am I in here? The patient sells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the social 220 to 240. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Must Peeper be Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname, the Peeper. But the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge 
their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. You can't the holes and when the facility went off the rails, yeah, the doctors says... stopped caring. They jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. What was that guy's name? Ah, oh, so that's just party, right? Okay, yeah, I had to check out. Uh oh. Spirits inside this asylum. We know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded bro, from bro, the realm of bro. the dead. Oh. Maybe seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. Bro, this guy's having a laugh at eh? Oh, well, that was too bad so far. It's not too bad so far. I'm not gonna lie, I can feel the hair standing on the back of my neck though. I can't even remember what he said the name was of that guy who was like a murderer and pulling people's eyeballs out and shit. I can't even remember what that was. Ah! <sighs> oh, I think I've actually just hurt my knee there. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know that's possible. I think I'm just twisting my bloody knee. Oh god. We're good. We're good. Well, I did not expect that. Obviously, it's a horror game. I shouldn't be expecting it. Oh, damn. That looks like somewhere I just don't want to go. Oh! Jesus. Can't go in here anyway, can I? No. <sighs> Why are some of these doors opening, but then other ones aren't opening? Oh! Damn! No, 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 no. We'll go back, we'll go back, we'll go back. I think we'll go back to the first room. Jesus. <sighs> oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, I don't want to go play this game anymore. <laughs> ah! Damn. Now, I have just done a video on um, Mortuary's assistant and I must say, already, this game is so much more terrifying. For me, this is this is what a, a horror game should be. Easy. Not getting me, demon. Oh, bro. <laughs> I don't like going in that room. Please, please. Oh, no. Bro, she's having a right good scratch there, isn't she? She's having a good right scratch. A good old scratch, guys. Maybe she's got a case of the old pills, huh? Hello. Hello. Death run, no. Death run, no. Die, eyes. Get out, deeper. What do you mean, get out? Oh my god. Get the hell out of there. Oh! Go to the front door and get out. Shut! Ah! Run! Oh my god. Bro, it doesn't even let you run! All right, 
right, get out of this hallway and, and take a take your second right. Why is the music so intense? There's nothing there. Door's locked. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay. There's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up oh. the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. Let's take a second. Oh, you like the video? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Why does it always make you go on the staircase? Why does it always make you go up a creepy ass staircase? Now it's just dead silent. I was, I was, I was used to the crazy music and that before, but now it's just so silent. I'm a bit worried. Now, here we go. There's the music. That's what I'm talking hmm? Uh, where's the, where's the guy on the phone? Hello? Mr. Guy on the phone? I don't think it ever told... Oh, there's a... Oh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Wait. Is it another staircase? Bro. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. Nah, you don't say me. It doesn't even have a basement. What the... What, what is going on? All right. I don't think you got any other choice. There's more stairs. Make your way downstairs. There's more stairs. There's more stairs, buddy. Where am I going all the way down? Oh, it looks like it. He said there isn't a basement, so why is there stairs going all the way down? Bro. The hell is that creepy voice, bro? Guys, I must say, for a free game as well, or you can donate to the studio that made it. took 10 days to make this game. And, um, for 10 days. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So far, so good. Oh, damn. That's never a good thing. Surgery. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. <clears throat> oh my god. I know what happened last time I came down near doors like this. I got jump scared. It ain't happening today. Bro, you alright in there? No? Okay, I'll leave you alone. I've got this habit of sitting with my mouth open and I need to stop it. Just sit like... You just get so, so focused, you know? Everybody's got these focus faces. I have a tendency to like not want to look back because when I'm walking like this, I feel like I'm going to do this and something's going to scare me. You know? Bro, none of these doors are open. What? This is kind of uh, a little bit difficult when you're moving this because like the, the mouse is... I've got multiple monitors, so I've got the mouse. It's kind of going all over my other monitors when I'm moving. So it must be like a... What do you call that? Is it like windowed mode? Right. Now we're kind of stuck here. Wait, did this hallway change? Yeah, this has changed. This this wasn't here before. No, wait. Oh, wait. Have I followed the candles? Where should we go, guys? Where should we go here? Should we go left? Or should we go right? I think they always say left is the place to go. So I think we should go right. Like, if there's a d decision between left and right, they always say go left, don't they? I always say go opposite. Alright, well, it's left. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? Yeah, 
Here we go. Ah, fuck! <sighs> I need to take a minute. I need a drink. <sighs> man, I need out of these hallways, man. I'm going to end up pooping my pants. Get me out of these hallways. Looks like this is the place to go. Man, I proper frown when I'm playing these games as well. I think it's just when you're locked in, innit? You're proper, like, locked in and you... Oh, Wait a minute. Bro, that was a hallway a minute ago. see no eyes don't see oh my god I don't want to turn around blood I actually just clicked off the game and clicked windows and everything. I got that scared. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys heard that there in the video. was pudding. Why is, why is, it, why is it like these kind of anatomy pictures? Is this the guy that went around killing folk and he's put these pictures up? Like why are these even in a mental institute? Come on. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the Clive Johnson peeper suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. Aggressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while what? he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. Mm. A week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, uh oh. Uh oh. Music. Chill with the music. Friends, Chill out. Try to shut your eyes. It is literally a pair of eyeballs. Sitting on a desk, just, just sitting there, just casually sitting there, pair of eyeballs, nice, yeah. Clive the people, Clive the people Johnson. This game, uh, yeah, I end up clicking on my other monitor like I was saying, but oh no, oh no. Oh. A flashlight. Did somebody say come here, bro. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. oh please 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 oh oh my god oh my god run wait he's not there Oh, the door! Run, 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 run. Bro, it doesn't even let you run. Bro. Bro, please. Oh, the book, the book, the book, the book. Oh, get yeah, bro. Thank you for playing. Please leave a review on the page to let me know your thoughts about the game. My name is Al Heck, and I made this game in 10 days for the Scream Jam 2020 event. My friend John and I found uh, founded GameDevHQ.com and we believe game development is an amazing skill and a great tool to tell stories. If you ever wanted to learn how to build a video game, we would love to show you how and I didn't get to read it all. Anyway, that was insane. It's actually crazy to think that these guys have made this game in 10 days. Like, Again, I think that was I think that was great. That's why I, that's what I like about a, a horror game. I think a game that grips you like that right from the get go, gives you those jump scares that you're playing the game for, is is what it's all about, man. Um, I'll leave a link down below to the game. It's you can you can play it for free or you can donate, like I've said before. Um, if you do play it, please let me know if you played it and what you think about it. But again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.